In this video, we are going to look at limiting reagent subtopic. The learning objectives that we are going to cover will be first, define the limiting reagent and second, perform stoichiometric calculations using mole concept including limiting reagent. What is limiting reagent? Limiting reagent is the reagent that is completely consumed in a reaction and limits the amount of product produced. So to determine which one is the limiting reagent in a reaction, we must compare both reagents in terms of number of moles. So for example, in this reaction, initially we have 10 moles of hydrogen gas and 7 moles of oxygen gas. But Based on the balanced chemical equations, 2 moles of hydrogen gas require 1 mole of oxygen to react with. So if we have 10 moles of hydrogen gas, we actually need 5 moles of oxygen gas. So we can see that we have 7 moles of oxygen gas, but we only need 5 moles of oxygen gas. So means that what we have is more than what we needed. So in another words, so oxygen gas here is the excess reagent, while the hydrogen gas is the limiting reagent. From previous example, what can we conclude is to determine the limiting reagents, there are four steps. First, we need to convert the information that we have on reagents to number of moles. Second, we need to find the number of moles needed based on the balanced chemical equation. Step number three is to compare the number of moles in step one with the number of moles needed in step two. Then step number four, we make a conclusion which one is the limiting reagent. Now we shall look at another example. In this question, 2 gram of zinc metal reacting with 2.5 gram of silver nitrate and I ask you to determine which one is the limiting reagent and how many grams of excess reagent left at the end of the reaction and how many grams of product zinc nitrate is formed. The first part of the question is to determine which one is the limiting reagent, zinc metal or silver nitrate. So still remember the four steps to determine which one is the limiting reagent. So step number one, we must convert all the information that we have on the reagents to number of moles. So in this question, so we have been given the mass of zinc metal and also the mass of silver nitrate. So in step one, we must convert both into number of moles. So how to convert mass to number of moles? So mass must divide by the molar mass to get the number of moles. Okay, and this number of moles are the number of moles of reagents that we have. And in step number two, still remember, we must find the number of moles needed from the balanced chemical equations. So from the chemical equations, we can see that one mole of zinc required two moles of silver nitrate to react with. So now we have 0 0.03058 moles of zinc and this means that we require or we need 0 0.06116 moles of silver nitrate. So we have found the number of moles of silver nitrate that we have in step number one and in step number two we found the number of moles of silver nitrate needed so in step number three we just need to compare both number of moles the number of moles of silver nitrate that we have which is 0 0.01471 moles with the number of moles of silver nitrate needed which is 0 0.06116 moles and we can see that the number of moles of silver nitrate needed is greater than the number of moles of silver nitrate that we have. So what we need is more than what we have. So in other words, silver nitrate 
is the limiting reagent. We can also summarize how to determine limiting reagent in a table. Still remember in step 1, we need to convert all the information on reagents to number of moles. So we can record the number of moles of reagents as follows. In step 2, we need to use the balanced chemical equation to determine the number of moles needed. So based on the balanced chemical equation, 1 moles of zinc requires 2 moles of silver nitrate. So 0 0.03058 moles of zinc will require 0 0.06116 moles of silver nitrate. And then we compare the number of moles of silver nitrate that we have with the number of moles of silver nitrate needed. And in these questions, we can see that the number of moles of silver nitrate that we have, 0 0.01471 moles, is less than the number of moles of silver nitrate needed, 0 0.06116 moles. Hence, we can conclude that silver nitrate is the limiting reagent. Previously, we found that silver nitrate is the limiting reagent. Limiting reagent is the reagent that is completely consumed in a reaction and limits the amounts of products produced. Besides limiting the amounts of products produced, it also determines how much excess reagent will be reagent with in a reaction. In these questions, we want to determine the mass of excess reagent left at the end of the reaction. To find this, we must use our limiting reagent, silver nitrate, to compare it with our excess reagent, zinc. From the balanced chemical equations, we know that 2 moles of silver nitrate require 1 moles of zinc to react with. Now, we have 0 0.01471 moles of silver nitrate and actually only need 0 0.007355 moles of zinc. This information, we can also summarize it in the table. The blue one is the number of moles for both reagents that we have. And silver nitrate is the limiting reagent. So, limiting reagent will completely consume in a reaction. So 0 0.01471 moles of silver nitrate will completely be consumed in a reaction. And when 0 0.01471 moles of silver nitrate is consumed, it actually only needs 0 0.007355 moles of zinc. So now, how to find the numbers of moles of zinc in excess? We just need to use the number of moles of zinc that we have minus with the number of moles of zinc needed in a reaction. And in these questions, we found that 0.02323 moles of zinc is in excess. To find the mass of zinc in excess, we just need to multiply the number of moles of zinc in excess with molar mass. Again, limiting reagent is the reagent that is completely being consumed in a reaction and limits the amounts of products produced. In these questions, we want to calculate the mass of zinc nitrate product form in the reaction. To calculate the mass of product form, we must use the limiting reagent to compare it with the product because limiting reagent limits the amounts of products formed. In these questions, silver nitrate is the limiting reagent. So it will limit zinc nitrates the products form. So from the balanced chemical equation, we know that 2 moles of silver nitrate will produce 1 moles of zinc nitrate. When 0 0.01471 moles of silver nitrate is being completely consumed in the reaction, this will cause 0 0.00735 moles of zinc nitrate 
being produced. We can summarize this information in a table. But we only focus on silver nitrate, the limiting reagents, and also our product, zinc nitrate. So the blue one is the number of moles that we have before the reaction. Before the reaction, we have 0.01471 moles of silver nitrate. But before the reaction, there is no product formed yet. So for zinc nitrate, the number of moles is zero. But during the reaction, our limiting reagent, silver nitrate will be completely being consumed. So 0.01471 moles of silver nitrate will be consumed. And this will cause 0.007355 moles of zinc nitrate be produced in the reaction. So at the end of the reaction, no more silver nitrate limiting reagent left. And we have our product. And how to find the mass of product? We just need to multiply the number of moles of our zinc nitrate form with the molar mass. To test your understanding, you may want to pause this video for a while to try on the test yourself one question. You may also want to enhance your understanding by trying the test yourself too. For further understanding, you might also want to refer to the Brown's book, page 150 to 152.